helping to make your life easier. Local every day. Antihistamines are frequently prescribed for the treatment of hives, swelling, and mild allergy symptoms. Dr. Hannah Newhouse is here with Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology Associates PC to talk about the differences between first and second generation antihistamines. Nice to have you here today, Doctor. Thanks for having me. So first of all, what are antihistamines used for? So they're most often used for um, symptoms such as itching or swelling. Um, they can also be used to help treat hives. And then you can also, um, they can also treat mild allergy symptoms such as itchy nose or sneezing. Let's say you have a cold, would mm -hmm. that help you? Mm -hmm. It could help to um, help a little bit um, mm -hmm. with some of those symptoms, but probably um, wouldn't help to completely resolve it. Okay, and so let's talk about first generation antihistamines and second generation mm -hmm. antihistamines, what the differences are and what are some of the names you might see on the market? Sure. So um, the first generation antihistamine, so examples of that might be um, Benadryl or diphenhydramine is um, one we often think about. Mm -hmm. um, another one might be Atarax or hydroxazine um, as a couple examples. Um, so those first generation antihistamines, since they were developed earlier, they're not as selective for which histamine receptors they bind. So they tend to have more side effects because of that versus the second generation antihistamines were produced a little bit later, so they're much more selective in which histamine receptors they bind, um, and so they don't have as many of those side effects. So examples of the second generation antihistamines are um, like Zyrtec or Cetirizine, um, Claritin or Loratadine, um, and then Allegra or Fexofenadine, amongst a few others. Okay, so who would want to use a first generation? So, um, so Honestly, now we're starting to get out of even using it in general oh, okay. as much as possible just because they do have those increased side effects. Side effects like sleepy? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So we start to see those first generation ones, sleepiness is the, is the primary side effect and that can in turn lead to increase in, um, in um, accidents, um, can cause um, decrease in concentration. Mm -hmm. um, and then in some patients, particularly older patients, you can have an increased risk for dementia or Alzheimer's um, or that association. Mm -hmm. Now there's a small subset of patients that actually go the opposite way where they get hyperactive with Benadryl. Mm -hmm. but, um, but then otherwise you can have some dryness with it, things like that. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So if someone might need an antihistamine, talk to your doctor or someone like yourself. Yeah. All right. Thank you for coming in yes, today. Yes, thank you. And for more information on allergy, asthma, and immunology associates PC, just go to 1011now.com.